Good Minecraft morning from the Adults Play Minecraft server. This is Zeba, and this is going to be episode 8 today, and I'm all decked out in my Halloween costume, ready for Halloween. Uh, Halloween's actually tomorrow from this recording date. And behind me is a, um, looks like the Sword of Friendship. No better time than to receive a Sword of Friendship than Halloween, I think. And so I'm not entirely sure who gave me this sort of friendship. I'll have to ask around to figure out what is uh, happening with this. But I'm I'm glad to receive it. That's for sure. I like these blocks too. And so I, I don't remember. Where did I see these blocks before? I'm going to have to remember where I saw these blocks last. But yep. So today on this episode, we're going to be working on a server-friendly minigame. Something that everybody can enjoy and toy around with. And so we're going to pop over to the minigame area and start that project. And here we are flying over the minigame island. And there you can see Corgi's awesome fishing arena <laughs> that thing is so much fun you got to check out the video link in the description but also it pops up at the top here so make sure you guys check that out and watch that video of that and we're going to pick a spot today for our sliding puzzle mini game it's basically a piston puzzle uh kind of nostalgic to those old sliding puzzles that we used to play with as kids or at least i did i'm a child of the 80s so <laughs> i'm an old guy and i used to love those puzzles so that's what we're gonna be working on today we're gonna have to find a good spot for that um nothing too flat we're basically going to build up a huge box and we've got some ideas in the future of how we want to morph this box but right now it's just going to be a big box so let's check it out and see what happens here and we're going to get started on that we're going to clear some ground and get going on it all right we're going to, have to build up some floor but this is going to be the entrance right here and we're going to toss in some stairs in a little bit i don't think i have any dark oak stairs so let's just make a few i think all i need is four and so pretty simple entrance. We are going to use a little redstone trickeriness right down in here in this area. Uh, and I'll show you guys that in just a little bit. But yeah, so this is going to be the entrance here. And then we are going to need, let's see, one, two, three, another wall here. And these walls are going to be pretty big in the end. Uh, and we're going to build these up as we kind of go along. And so that'll be there. And then from here, we can do another color. And let's grab all of our wood. And get rid of some of this sand, stack it up. I'm not going to need all this cobble, I don't think, but I don't want to get rid of it just yet. Let's toss down a redstone box. And we're going to need all kinds of different woods. So birch. Did I not grab any birch? Oh, boy. I'm going to have to go find my birch box. This is going to be a pretty simple build. We've got our walls set up here, and you can see that in each of these walls we have just a little, uh, I guess it's a three by three area, nine blocks open, and we're going to be having our piston uh, puzzle kind of between that um, in the back of that. And so we're going to be building this up a little bit more. Uh, I actually need to move this last wall back one more block. It looks like I'm uh, too far forward by one. But this is going to be, again, those sliding puzzles. We're going to use pistons. We're going to use buttons to push on those pistons and move blocks around. And the goal, the end goal, will be to make sure that all the lights, however many lights we choose within each puzzle, actually light up by moving across redstone blocks. So it's going to be pretty awesome. Okay, let's do the pistons for this one. And I do have a cheat sheet where I've been making um, making lists and things that make the puzzles a little bit interesting. So we are just modeling that off of all of my testing. Make it look that way. 
and it looks like this is a sticky one down here and then to regular pistons that should look right now let's grab some redstone blocks and i'll show you guys the concept and i don't have any redstone blocks so i have to make one did i bring any lamps because i also need lots of lamps all right i got one glow okay i do have some glowstone so we can make a handful of those and we'll make eight of those there we go shouldn't well we'll need some pistons for the top part too so basically i think i'm going to invert these colors but i don't have enough oh man am i out of spruce there's some more spruce so let's get some more spruce logs here that's more than i need don't need all that dark oak just yet either okay so we are going to have a wall back here and inside this wall we will toss one bit of redstone redstone block like that there we go and then we will have our lamp right in the middle there glowing nice and bright and we will toss these all around like that so the game is essentially you're going to push and pull blocks around this one pulls that one pushes and what we want to do we will have the puzzle reset um let's reset it a little bit better than that so it's not just like a one block move so there we go okay so this is where the puzzle is going to start we're going to have glass out in front just to kind of help model it a little bit and to demonstrate where you need to get this light to be so we're going to be moving these light this light around and I have to be careful right now because i don't have my obsidian in place so i could push these uh pistons out of place if i'm not careful and so we're going to be moving these blocks around to where let's see nope almost to where we can get this guy in the center to light up just like those old school slidey puzzles so let's yeah let's push that there push you here you here let's pull this one down and there we go like that boom and it lights up and so i do have um a function that will reset this one but i haven't figured out the mechanics on resetting all of this without taking an, an insane amount of redstone and so I'm trying to clean it up, trying to make it a little bit smaller. So for right now, we will just simply have people solve the puzzles. And once they're finished solving the puzzles, just come in here and hit, hit some buttons and reset some stuff a little bit. Okay, that one didn't work. So I don't know all these functions just yet, but we'll have somebody reset the puzzle. And hopefully they'll reset it in a way that is going to make it a little bit challenging. So for instance here, it looks like you could just go up, but you can't because that's a sticky piston. So it pulls it down. So that's the idea. That's what we're going to be working on. We're going to add in the rest of the lamps and things here. We're going to work on the ceiling part and let's get started on that.
We did a little bit of work. We got the floor put in and we've got all the sides set up. We've played through this game a couple times. The bottom one is very challenging, so we can technically make it the last one. Uh, and you can go one, two, three, four, and down. And afterwards, we're going to have to find a way to um, keep score. So probably with maybe a book over here somewhere uh, on a lectern, I think is the best way these days to keep score of things. Uh, but that's kind of how this is looking. We need to fill in some glass in all these spots. I also need a couple more blocks of obsidian to put behind these uh, down here so that we don't shove one out of place somewhere. But I got to go gather up some obsidian for that. And then we need to finish the outside, and that's going to be done for the basic structure. Uh, eventually, we're going to be adding on some more redstone on the outside. We will be putting in some texture and things within these uh, blocks and stuff to make it look a little nice. But I kind of wanted it to be very kind of plain and simple. Uh, we might actually lower this a little bit and do something different with an entrance. Maybe even have uh, some redstone stairs that pop up and we walk up and then they kind of go down. So you're kind of in here secluded a little bit uh, to do your puzzle. So we might have to see about something like that. That could be pretty neat. So let's keep experimenting a little bit and we'll come back in just a little bit. We have ventured over to the slime uh, shop. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying there for a second. The slime shop. We're going to buy a couple of these. It says a half a stack of slime balls for one diamond. So that would be two diamonds there. And let's do one more just for grins to support the local business. So we are going to actually work on a couple different variations of get, come, what, what's going on with the block? What's going on with that block? And the lag got really weird. A couple variations of elevators to try to get us to the um you know what words fail me we are trying to work on a way to get into the entrance to the cube we've been trying out a couple different methods to toss us up into the cube and i think i've kind of settled on one that we're going to use temporarily well i'm trying to fit it into the design i have a design that i did in my test world but now we're off by one big block everywhere well, we have finally settled on a design for the entrance. Uh, do need to grab some more glass, so we'll cover this with glass right here. So the idea is uh, the instructions will be right over here. Uh, you can come over and read them, or I can put them... Yeah, probably probably over there. That way they're, or coming up down the path here. So we're going to build this path out a little wider. Uh, so the idea is going to be that this cube has randomly appeared here. Uh, maybe it crash landed here. Who knows? Uh, some alien technology, something of that nature. But we're going to walk up to here. The instructions will tell you to stand on the slime block and push the button. And it will toss us out. It will toss us in there. And we can climb in and uh, do the game in that way. And so once we're ready to leave, we can just pop out and fall onto the slime block and we're fine. Okay, take a little bit of damage, you're good to go. Or you could just fly in if you'd like to. If you've already played it before, you want to come over and you understand the instructions, uh, then you could just fly in that way. So, we're going to clean up, up this area a little bit, trying to make this path. I'm not sure exactly what to do because the water is so close, so I might have to push the water out a little bit uh, around and build up an, an interesting little path coming down to this area. So, I don't want this to be 
some huge spectacular looking build. I just I really wanted it to look like a cube. Uh, there's something simplistic about it, uh, minimalistic about it. And there we go. So that's going to be the entrance. We play the game and then we're ready to leave. Nice. I like it. The cube is of unknown origin. Mysteriously appearing on the island, the cube offers to challenge your mental prowess. Once you enter the cube, you will be faced with a series of puzzles. Use the stone buttons to slide the pieces into place. Light will emit when the puzzle is complete. Take your time, but mind your moves. All lamps must be lit before you proceed to the next puzzle. Once all puzzles are solved, add your number of moves to the Book of Numbers, page 4. Press either button to enter. And now we're inside the cube. Let's give this a go. We need to move the lamp into the place behind the yellow glass by pushing the pistons, sliding the blocks around. So there's an open space over here. So we're gonna have to slide all of these over that direction. I think I heard a creepy spider somewhere. All right, so here we go. There's one. That one looks like it will pull that block. So let's, let's try that. There's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I should have in this. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So twelve on this one. So maybe we should have a book up here for each one. I'm not sure about that. Twelve so far. We're on twelve. So let's write that down. 12 on the first puzzle. That is the birch puzzle. Second puzzle. We need to move it to this place. So one, two, three, uh, four, ooh, five, six. Oh no, that's stuck there. Six. So we need to move this one over. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, should resent this, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So fourteen on that one. Fourteen on the acacia puzzle. Next puzzle is the, is that spruce? Yes, spruce puzzle. Okay, so we need to move it down here. Uh, let's start off by seeing what's over here. There's one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh oh, I messed one up. Nine, <laughs> ten. 11, 12, not good at this one, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. That took a lot. I messed that up a couple times. Uh, 19. You'd think with the person that made these puzzles, I would have figured them all out, but some of these I just threw together. All right, now let's do the top puzzle. So it's 19 on that one. Top puzzle. Looks like we have two lamps, two places. All right, so let's see what we can do here. I keep thinking there's a trick with uh, where my sticky pistons are. So there's one, two, oh uh, yeah, see? Three, four, and how can I get that over there? Five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven on that one. So eleven on the dark oak. Now one final puzzle down here. There are three spots to get lamps in. Let's just start with the most obvious. There's one. And let's just rotate these around. Two, 
three, four, five. Uh-oh, that one's stuck. Was that five or six? I lost count all of a sudden. My mental prowess is not strong. Five, let's do six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Hmm. Ten. Eleven. Could be this one. Would we have enough to rotate all the way around? Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. And twenty. There it is. Twenty on that one. Ouch. I'm going to have to come back and practice these a little bit. So there's 20. So it took me 12 on this one, 14, 19 on this one, 11, and 20. 20. That's, that's a lot, people. Okay, so let's go and put all our scores in. Uh, let's go sleep so we don't get destroyed by any mobs while we're adding things to the book. There we go. We'll have to build a little safety. Oh. That was fast. <laughs> that happened so quick. Okay. Here we are. We're at the log. We need to get rid of that. I don't want that. We need to add to this log. Book of numbers. Grand total. Okay. How many did I say I had? 12 and 14. So that's 26. And then we had 19. 11 and 20 that's 76 total moves of 76 all right the birch puzzle i had 12. the acacia puzzle i had 14. the spruce puzzle i had 19. the dark oak puzzle I had 11. My best puzzle. Oh, watch out. Really? Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, and the oak puzzle. Oak puzzle, I had 20. Not good. Alright, we're going to have to come back and practice this a bit. Alright, so there you have it. That's going to be the minigame. And again, stand on there, hop in. And here we are in the puzzle. So now we're just going to mix it up a little bit for the next person. Uh, just click around. It doesn't really matter too much. I mean, I guess you can make it more challenging or just pay attention that you're not one move away. So anytime you get this in that corner, though, it's pretty good and set. Um, and we will have to work out a reset function, which is very difficult to do with this many things this close together. And so it's kind of difficult. So we'll have to figure something out for that in the future. We can just do that. That should be good there. And let's get these all mixed up. And we're going to call that it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this. If, 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 if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. And if you don't follow me on Twitch and Twitter, please use the links below. Follow me on those two platforms. Uh, one, I post little sneak peeks, and I also post just random stuff all the time on Twitter. Uh, so please follow me there for updates and all that good stuff. And also on Twitch. I just recently started an Instagram as well, so you can find me on Instagram there in the description below. Thank you guys so much again. Make sure you check out the other Adults Play Minecraft members, uh, and these guys are fantastic. I love these builds. Uh, so we'll have to take a look at their stuff next time. So thank you so much. Have a great day. Oh yeah, this is working out much nicer. <laughs> at least it'll be twice as fast, rather than going back for the second boat on its own.